Que la Madre Tierra siempre te provea. Tus proyectos, tus sueños te cumplan y se hagan realidad. Que la luna la proteja. Right now, I'm in the witchcraft capital of Mexico, Caramaco. Caramaco is known as the land of brujos and brujas because of how many warlocks, witches, and sorcerers live and practice their magic in this historical town on the lake. In my next video, I'm going to spend the day with one of the main brujos in Caramaco, Enrique, who also happens to be a Satanist. Give the power to this man. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss this one. Enrique is the leader of a local coven of witches. And today, they invited me to come and participate in one of their sacred rituals. But before we do that, my friend Dakota of Earth, who invited me on this crazy adventure, wants to show me a bit more of Karamako. What is this? An Olmec head. The Olmecs are the oldest civilization in this part of the world. And this is the area where the Spaniards came to. A lot of the traditions came from the slave trade from the Spanish conquerors. Right and here. the indigenous traditions here, by the right. church's standards, are witchcraft too. And that's sort of yeah, what we see happening, not just here, but all over the world. The church said, okay, these traditions, the indigenous, are mm -hmm. evil because it was a way for the church to gain power. But in reality, this is such a deep-rooted part of their culture. Culture. What are we doing today? Today we're gonna gather some of the local witches and they're gonna do some kind of ritual for us. How did you become friends with the local witches here? I was traveling through Mexico and stopped here because I knew that through research that they had some weird stuff going on and then that's how I met Enrique. He's like the head honcho witch of Catamaco. He says he comes from a lineage of it from a couple generations. Here he has a whole center for spirituality but he's got like a satanic layer, he's got a bunch of witches that work for him, he does like all kinds of different magic, tarot reading, voodoo, and and I've been coming back for like three years now. Why do you feel so drawn to this? This is interesting to like be around people that are so different. The witches that we're going to see kind of all work under Enrique. It feels a little culty. It feels a little like what's going on here if this guy, the satanic head honcho of the town is like gathering all these young women. <laughs> he's like the witch pimp. Yeah, he's the witch pimp. Satanism and witchcraft are very different. It's different everywhere you go. Yeah, like I think people blanket statement these things and they think, oh, yeah. like these witches are satanic. All witches are satanic. Mm -hmm. And that's just completely not the case. Witchcraft has tons of different branches underneath it, so it's important to remember that what we're experiencing here is just one. It's just one lineage from this region that has been based on the culture of thousands of years. Or you can come do a consultation with a witch, remove magic from you, or cast magic on somebody. There's so many herbs. You have different candles for different things. So this is to like get clients for your business. This is like a type of soap that is to attract like hot sex. There's nothing in it. Yeah, because he's, he's been using it. <laughs> this is Gopal. Gopal is like a tree sap. And here in Mexico, they use it in all the ceremonies for Dia de los Muertos or for their witchcraft ceremonies. You were telling me when we talked about this that the cartels use witchcraft. The cartels definitely use witchcraft. They believe that worshiping Santa Muerte, you get power, you get money. They'll leave money to the statues or drugs. Does Enrique and the witches here help them? Probably. So we spotted some missionaries. Wait, we should ask them what they think about the devils. Can I ask you some questions? This is Dakota. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you, Dakota. Are you guys all from LA? No, I'm from Detroit. We are oh. filming a documentary about witchcraft here. Okay. Yeah, we've heard about the witches and all of that. We're here as missionaries to talk about God, talk about Jesus Christ. We're not really here to like, fight the witchcraft or anything. I'm curious to know what you think about witchcraft. I mean, I can't say I have much experience with it, so. Do you want experience with it? Do you want to really? come with us? To a ritual? You guys, this would be groundbreaking. We're not yeah. gonna pr have time. We're sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. But, but, right. but yeah, Grace. yeah. Grace. Good luck. See you. Damn, I tried. We tried. We tried. All the witches are getting ready. Is this a big deal for them to be like friends for a yeah, ritual? Yeah, yeah. Probably. Hola. Ya no tienes miedo? Scary? Un poquito scary. 
<laughs> right now we're gonna walk back here into the jungle, into the forest, and there's a cabin back there. They're back there right now setting up a ceremony for us. This is the entrance. So this is like the start of the walk to the witch's cabin. There's a huge pentagram and a creepy little path, and yep. that's where we're going. That path leads us to the cabin in the woods with the witches. It's time to begin the ritual. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I'm just going to follow the lead of the witches. Para dar inicio a lo que es un ritual de chicas de brujas. A esta chica que viaja por el mundo. Vamos chicas a levantar las manos. Vamos a iniciar con una energización. Hacemos el llamado a los cuatro elementos. Vamos a pedir que se despoje de esa energía que ha acumulado durante todo su trayecto y para eso vamos a representar esa nueva energía que la va a cubrir con un vestido blanco como el que nosotros estamos usando. Comenzamos con la veladora. La veladora representa, es una llama que está presente en cada una de nuestras vidas. Las flores conectan tu espíritu con la tierra y de esta manera poco a poco vamos a limpiar todo lo que hay a tu alrededor. ¿Procedería a hacerte una limpia? Con esta loción te vas a lasmar la piedra de todas las que te quieras hacer daño. Vas a renacer con mi persona y estarás libre de cualquier vibra negativa. Y que ella va a sentirse completamente liberada, va a estar en paz consigo misma. Ella es una gran chica. Ella está pendiente de todo lo que pasa alrededor. En estos momentos estamos invocando a los cuatro elementos, agua, aire, tierra, fuego. El agua para que te purifique. ¡Oh, oh elemento agua. agua! El elemento aire está llevándose todo lo negativo. ¡Oh, elemento aire! El elemento tierra hace que recuerdes de dónde venimos. ¡Oh, elemento tierra! El elemento fuego, para que todo lo negativo las transmute de negativo a positivo. O oh, elemento fuego. Todas nosotras te estamos apoyando, te estamos pasando nuestras energías. Que, que todas las energías y buenas vibras lleguen a ti. Que todo lo que tú tengas, tus proyectos, tus sueños, tus anhelos, se te cumplan y se hagan realidad. Que el elemento agua te purifique. Que el elemento agua te purifique. Que el elemento aire se lleve todo lo negativo. Que el elemento aire se lleve todo lo negativo. Fuerza. Fuerza. Capacidad. Capacidad. Espiritualidad. Espiritualidad. Por nuestras hermanas, repito. Por, Por nuestras hermanas. hermanas. Que la luna la proteja. Que la luna la proteja. Que el sol le dé fuerza. Que el sol le dé fuerza. Así cerramos este ritual. Así cerramos este ritual. Con la fuerza femenina. Con la fuerza femenina. Gracias. Gracias. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. This cool. is like the feminine energy is so mm -hmm. strong and the reality is that during the witch trials and the persecution of witches, 80% were women, the victims who were being tortured. It was mostly oppression of women. To have these rituals last thousands of years, hundreds of years, to now, to still be practiced and support each other in that sisterhood says a lot mm -hmm. about the potency of this magic. El que se hizo ahorita en estos momentos fue un ritual de, de prosperidad, de abundancia, de salud, eh, de éxito, para, de armonía, de paz, de felicidad. To practica magia negro. Sí, también. Sí. Hay personas que quieren trabajos blancos, hay personas que quieren trabajos negros y pues debemos de tener para todo. La magia negra no es para todos porque hay mucho poder alrededor de eso. Es para algunas personas que son fuertes. What do people not understand about brujería? Son personas que no quieren crecer mentalmente o tal vez porque tienen miedo. Creo que es eso, que tienen miedo. Miedo de lo que no conocen. Ellos han crecido con una idea de 
que la magia es mala y no es así. I want to thank you all for having me and for welcoming me and helping me and everyone else learn more about this history and about your practices. It's really a gift to learn and to be able to share. That's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you comment below your thoughts on this. What did you learn? And subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for this episode of Skylife. The adventure continues. Mm -hmm. <laughs>